<laughs> Morning, darlings. I'm hoping that it moves just so the rest of the pregnancy can be, um, you know, like I'm not having to worry about that part, like ending up in hospital and bleeding and things like that. Are you excited to be a big sissy again? Yeah, you excited to see the baby today? Come on with me. Did you see the baby? Can you show me the pictures? Wowza visa. That one was awesome, that 3D one. Look at that, guys. She's saying, oh no. should be awake soon and today we have got our skin so I 22 and a half weeks the last like two weeks I probably want to say I've been feeling bub move so much more which is so exciting so um, it's just so reassuring as soon as you start feeling the move it's so much less nerve-wracking it's so much more reassuring so I've been loving feeling bub move Kurt's been feeling him or her move um, a lot too which has been really cool so I feel like bub is traveling really really well and this pregnancy is honestly just flying like everyone says it goes faster each time and it is so true like this time being my third baby I just feel like it has gone so so fast and I'm really trying to soak in all the moments that I can. Like each night I try to stay up for a little while and just research about Bob and like make sure they sit there and try to feel him or her kick and things like that because it's so um, easy to just get caught up in the moment and kind of forget and go, oh crap. Um, and it's such a blessing. And this is probably our last pregnancy. So I really want to try to soak in all those moments that I can. But at our last skin, um, if you guys watched the video would know that I had placenta previa. I think that's how you say it. Previa, previa. I'm not really too sure. I always pronounce everything wrong. <laughs> um, so at today's appointment, I don't know whether they'll be able to check on that as well to see how that is going. Hopefully they can. So what that basically means is that when is that the placenta is really low down to the cervix. Um, there's all different grades that it can be. So you can have like a low lying placenta where it's actually not um, on your cervix at all. You can have one where it's partially covering your cervix or you can have one where it's like completely covering the cervix. With mine, um, it was completely covering my cervix, but it wasn't like flat on top like this. It was just completely covering like where my cervix is, but it was still more to one side. So I've pretty much accepted the fact, like after talking to her, that I'm, I'm probably gonna need a um, C-section, which honestly doesn't really, bother me too much. The only thing that bothers me is obviously the recovery, um, but I've had two natural births. I feel very lucky for my labors because I feel like I've had really good um, labors. Like obviously that hurt, <laughs> but like I've had pretty good experiences. So um, I feel really lucky to have had that. And hey, I haven't had a C-section before, so this will be something new. But when I was leaving, she pretty much said to me um, at the last appointment, prepare yourself, you're probably gonna need a C-section because even though, um, the placenta moves as your stomach grows because mine's completely covering it. It's most probably not going to move far enough out of the way to avoid a C-section. Um, and if it doesn't budge too much at all and it still covers the cervix, it's actually really dangerous because what happens is as you start to dilate, it starts to um, tear the placenta. So a lot of times if they don't move enough out of the way of the cervix, you actually, a lot of people tend to bleed and a lot of people end up staying in hospital at the end of their pregnancy. Um, so I'm kind of like, I'm hoping that it moves just so the rest of the pregnancy can be, um, you know, like I'm not having to worry about that part, like ending up in hospital and bleeding and things like that. Um, but if it doesn't move enough, like for me to not avoid having a C-section, then it is what it is, like it's totally fine. Um, I'm a little bit nervous for the recovery, especially because I will have three kids. 
and obviously still be running my um, business and stuff like that. So I'm a little bit nervous for the recovery, um, but so many amazing mums out there do it and they do it amazingly. So I'm sure you guys will be able to give me some tips and tricks on recovering and things like that once we get to that point. You never know though. So if I say to Kurt, it could completely move and we could be totally fine. Um, so it's just one of those things you kind of just got to take it an appointment at a time. And we're still so early along. Um, so I've probably, with Miller and Linky, I had Miller at 36 weeks and Lincoln at 37 weeks. So if we're tracking the same way, I've probably still got another like 14, 15 weeks left, which is a long time, kind of, but it is going very fast. So yeah, that's kind of what today's appointment is going to entail. I'm guessing she'll probably check for it, but I don't know because the lady who picked up on it had like this amazing ultrasound machine. So I don't know if you need like that um, really good machine to be able to see it. She might just check on bub today, check my weight, check my blood pressure, things like that. I'm not too sure, but that's kind of what's going on in my pregnancy and where we're at with that. I feel like I kind of haven't spoken in depth with you guys about this yet. And hopefully I explained that okay. There's, I could have said something slightly wrong. Anyways, that's kind of what's going on. I feel like I haven't really had a good chat with you guys about um, everything pregnancy wise, but I'm feeling pretty good about it now. I feel like kind of the first day I was like freaking out. I'm like, oh my gosh, not another issue in pregnancy because as you guys know, I labor very well and I have a really good experience with laboring, but um, I don't really have the best experiences with my pregnancies. It's bad luck but if that's all I need to go through to have another little bundle of joy in my arms, then it is what it is and I'd do it 10 times over. But anyways, guys, I'm gonna finish doing my makeup and the kids should be awake soon and I'll bring you guys along to the appointment with me. I think Miller's gonna come up with me today, which should be really cute. Good morning. Good morning, my beautiful little kitties. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Is everyone gonna say morning, mum? <laughs> morning darlings bah. how are you both you bah. both oh, what <laughs> <laughs> are you both good <laughs> said it was the last time but you keep coming back to tell me sorry that you take back i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it <laughs> just to hurt me <laughs> and oh. i just went cold oh. but i'm yeah. still burning <laughs> and i just went cold <laughs> I keep on oh are you gonna cook it on the barbecue yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's this? You know what this is called? Yeah. What is it? Yeah. What is it? Yeah. <laughs> what is it called? Yeah. Screwdriver. Yeah. Good boy. Do you know what this is called? Hammer. Good boy. Yeah. 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 Hammer. Good boy. And what color is this hammer? Red. Good boy. Let's see what else there is. Mm -hmm. Where's your saw? We have a little visitor. He decided to come out and play. Really hot. Better be careful. Oh, the football is cold. Oh, it's cold, is it? Yeah. Maybe we forgot to turn the barbecue on. Is it on? Yeah. Yep, okay. It's not on. Is it hot? Yup. Are you excited to be a big sissy again? Yeah, are you excited to be a baby today? Come coming with me. Do you think it's going to be a girl baby or a boy baby? A girl baby. I mean boy. Oh boy. Boy, boy, boy. Boy, boy, boy. Do you want it to be a girl or a boy or you just don't care? I just don't care to. Hey. <laughs> care if we're doing that. <laughs> Kitty, you can't come. You can't come with.
with us. Come here. All right, guys, we've got Miss Miller in the back. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Where are we going, Miller? The to the hospital to go see baby. So I think Curdy is going to meet us there. I told him um, he didn't have to meet us there, but he just like, he can't miss these appointments and I don't blame him because I feel like I would really want to be there too for them. Um, normally we always just make them after work, but for this one, they couldn't fit us in the afternoon. This was the latest appointment that they had available. Um, so yeah, he's taking a little bit of time off work. He's going to go back to work afterwards though. So he's just going to come up for an hour and then go straight back to work again. You need daddy to help you while I do the baby. Well, you don't really, because you can just stand next to mommy and hold her hand if, if daddy didn't come. It's no big deal. But daddy just wants to come to see the baby on the screen. But we're on our way up now, guys. Miller's very excited because she doesn't have to have a rest today. Hey, Miller. You're very excited about that. Um, Linky's at home with grandma. And I was gonna do the physio as well as the um, scan today, but I rescheduled for the physio because it just takes so much time and I feel like with when I went with Lincoln they told me the exact same thing with Miller um, so I feel like now I kind of know what to do like how to get out of bed properly all those bits and pieces that they show you um, but I was just thinking as well now that I'm over 20 weeks I can't remember when you get the glucose test done but I'm guessing that's gonna have to happen soon as you can't remember whether that's third trimester or second we'll see you when we're up there Life is a winding road, no telling where it goes. What have you got, babe? Apple. Yeah, mommy, open it for you. There you go, doll. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, look at this. Wow. Oh, it's messy outside. It must be the air. <laughs> well guys, Kurt is on his way, but he's running a bit late. Is Daddy running a bit late? I think he'll make it on time, but just a little bit late. Maybe he's just going, maybe he's just going a different way. Maybe. Got coffee for Daddy. Did you see the baby? Yeah. Can you show me the pictures? Wow, Zabiza. That one was awesome, that 3D one. Yeah, Look at that, guys. Saying, oh no! <laughs> Is this one a puppy? And that's his little foot. It was so cute. Hey, Miller. Ah! Wow! You got your cute dress on today. Yeah, she looks adorable. It was a mission to get her out of her pajamas, but. Mommy, my feet is sweating. Your feet is sweating. You just made it in the nick of time. Kurt came. I'd already done like the first part of the appointment. But you got there for the scan, didn't you, hun? Yes, I did. Yes, you did. Always you do. What a man, what a man, what a man. We're gonna have to show Linky when we get home. All right, guys, appointment. It hasn't moved at all. Hasn't budged the slightest bit. Still completely covering my cervix, but it's only been like a month. So over time, things could still move a little bit, um, but she doesn't seem like, it seems like it's probably not going to move. Um, so anyways, just take it a week at a time, hey, hon? Yeah. Yep. Um, also with my um, glucose test, I thought I might be near that appointment, but she said to me, I'm right, like I can go get it now. She's like, we'll just wait, we'll do it next time. So next time I go there, I'll be getting my glucose test and doing all those fun things. Bubby's going good though. Yeah. Bubby's going real good. Thanks for being such a good girl, Miller. Huh? Thanks for being such a good girl, Miller. Thanks for coming, hon. I know you miss him so badly, I darling. Could, I just wish you could be weak. I know, honey. I know. Well, guys, appointment done. I wouldn't necessarily say that that was like a bad appointment. I can't watch, baby. I'm driving. I can listen. But baby is healthy. Baby is happy. That is the most important thing. Placenta is still completely covering. It honestly doesn't look like it's even bunched at all the last month. Saying that we've still got a really long time, so things could definitely move. They definitely might not. Um, but yeah, no, I feel good. Definitely just got to keep taking it easy like I have been. I'm so glad that we decided to get the nanny because 
um, still no lifting Lincoln, except for in and out of his cot like once a day or when like it's necessary. No massive walks, no heavy lifting, no groceries, all those things. So yeah, I'm just, I'm so glad that we have got Sarah because as long as that placenta is covering my cervix, um, they just don't want me taking any risks with that. But anyways, guys, heading home now. Gonna go see Linky. Go see Linky Poo. And Cody will probably be home in another three hours or so. And I don't know what we're doing this off. Look who's home, guys. <laughs> Well guys, Kurt just got home. I think we're just gonna have a chill out afternoon this afternoon. The kids are happy out here. They're having a little tea party. You guys having a tea party? We're gonna be in a beach I feel like we we Pardon? We're gonna be in a beach afternoon. I know. Well, it would have been a beach harbor, but it's still a bit cold. It was so nice and warm last week. It was like 26, 24 degrees, like beautiful. And then this week, it's been like eight degrees at night and like tops of 19 today. So it is a bit chilly for the beach. And also Kurt's finished a bit late, so he's home a bit late today. But I'll quickly show you guys what we're gonna have for dinner tonight. So for dinner, Kurt's mum has made us this. It's like mashed potato and some chicken, I think. And then we've got some broccolini, might have that with it. And then also we had some leftover quiche from last night. So we probably have like a little mixture, like a plate of different things. And then I made the kitties, oh here, like a big cheesy bake pasta and they weren't into it. So we might have a bit of that on the side too. But that is pretty much us for the afternoon, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Why are you sad, honey? You miss daddy. Is this kind of not, are they serious? They're backing out when I'm back. Are they? Oh my freaking God. That is called rude. I was already backing out, guys. People, I tell ya. What are they doing? And they're just straightening up. Are you kidding me? The hooping cough needle. I think that's around 20 weeks. So, might need, it. Might need to get a needle today, Miller. I might need to. Mmm. Yes, darling. What, honey? Oh, I love you so much. You're the bravest girl that I know. You're so brave, honey. Oh, thank you, darling. Oh, thank you. <laughs> oh, she's saying to me, when you get the needle, if you don't cry, I'll be so proud. You're the bravest mum ever. I won't cry, honey. Because, you know what? It hurts a little bit when you get a needle but it makes sure that you don't get sick. So it's so worth doing it so you know that you're not gonna get sick. Yeah. Miller has to get a needle in like another month. Hey, Miller. We've been talking about it a little bit, hey? I might cry, I might cry. That's okay if you cry, honey. That's totally fine. And you know what? After you get a needle, you get to get a special treat. So you might be able to get a lollipop. No, you'll still get one even if you cry, sweetheart. It's okay to cry when things hurt. It's totally fine to cry. I just didn't want you to be sad if mummy was crying. Because I know, you know sometimes if mummy cries or Linky cries or daddy cries or someone else cries, how it makes you sad. I just wanted you to know that mummy's not crying, not because she's not gonna cry because it doesn't hurt, but because mummy's not gonna cry so it won't make you sad. So you don't need to worry about seeing mummy get a needle. Does that make sense? But if you cry, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if you cry, sweetheart. Yeah, I promise, promise, promise. 